Good evening from Little Creek Bee Ranch. <laughs> Check this out. Oops. A little bit winded here. We've been wrapping up honey harvest. And we've set all of our uh, honey boxes and tools and uh, all of our other stuff out. Settled here. Filming and a lot of bees, whole lot of bees. They're not mad, they're just excited. But I kind of want to teach you. Let me get my breath here. Try to get all this equipment set out before the girls get all wound up. It doesn't take them very long to get wound up. They are <laughs> turned on. It's just excitement, they're not mad. It's just, they're sucking up all kinds of honey. Excess honey off the tools, off the buckets. See, we put a brick. I'll talk louder because it's so loud here. We put a brick inside of things so the coons like to come in and pick up with tools and take off, knock them over, drag them around. Check, check that out. Now let me go back around the other way here. Now see the hives, the hives are sitting. That's part of them. There's uh, six of them over there. And that's enough to get everybody stirred up. Okay, so, so let's take a look at what we're doing. We got the colanders, and they're sucking honey off the colander. And they're pretty yellow flowers behind, yeah. Yeah, cleaning it up, there won't be a drop wasted. Not a drop wasted. Not a drop wasted. Now the boxes have been sitting out here since Sunday, so they're pretty well clean. I'm just using them to set stuff on right now. But inside here, the bottom box has a full set of frames we just spun. But the top box we're using as a shell because inside of that box is a whole bunch of uh, cappings, wax cappings. And then we set the queen excluder on top of it because we don't want the coons taking off with all the wax. I don't even know if you can see down inside of there. Just, just listen to them. Isn't that awesome? Masters of efficiency. They don't waste anything. And when I'm done spinning for the year, what I tend to do is the last spin, I'm kind of liberal with the tailings of honey. You know, I'll leave them plenty to work. Giving back, you know, just giving back to the bees. Let's see if you can see inside. See, there's a bucket in there. And then there's, it's full of wax cappings. But we close it up, put bricks on it so the coons can't tear into it and, and take off. The wax is real important to me. They can have the rest of the honey. I want the wax. We got a whole lot more cappings to work to set out. We'll set it out. We'll set it out just like you see here. And a brood box with a queen excluder over it on a tray. That way the wax is contained. Awesome. Awesome. Just cleaning 
and sucking up all they can get. Yeah, every little bit, even in the handles. Yeah, man. Look at him. <laughs> Woo, buddy. They'll be clean, I bet, in a day or two for sure. Oops. So, this is a feeding station that we leave as a permanent feeding station. Usually, what we'll do is we'll feed right off the top of that. Uh, livestock tank whatever but of course we got a lot to do here but a location for a feeding station needs to be left the same same spot the bees will remember they'll remember where your feeding station is and they'll, and they'll be thankful for it rather than moving it around all the time but I'm just fascinated with their ability to rally so fast I was just out here 10 minutes ago and there, there was just a handful of bees. Now there's thousands. Yep. Yep, but when you're doing wax cappings, that, that, this is what I wanted to show you. This is why I'm filming. Is you need to have your wax cappings contained in a box, if you live in the country particularly, in a box with a quint excluder and put the cappings in a bucket, kind of thin, not, not a big old giant six inch thick water cappings make it kind of thin a couple of inches or less yep getting after it now there's the handle of the bucket down inside there sucking it up yep we'll move back out That's the end of the year. Man, we did over 50 gallons. I want to say about 52 gallons. Uh, we did 15 gallons mid-June. And then 35 gallons, about 35, 36 gallons uh, this past week. That's it. We're done. This was a good year. Not the, not, not the best of our years, but really good. We're pleased with it. Cleaning. There you go. I hope these films give you some ideas. That's what we're doing this for, is to give you some ideas. Have an awesome evening.